Hey guys, so today I wanted to share with you my Hits and Misses video for the month of October. Although I haven't done a Hits and Misses video for a really long time, this is kind of a collective Hits and Misses video and I have a lot to share with you that I have been really liking and some things that I have just not liked at all and have kind of so the first thing that I've been really enjoying is this Benefit Foamingly Clean Facial Wash. It's a one-step cleanser and it definitely foams and it smells extremely clean. It smells like you're putting soap on your face. Um, it has that very fresh scent. Um, it does have kind of a, like almost like a perfumey scent, but very, very faint. Um, but if you don't like any scent at all, you like those unscented type of cleansers, this is not the cleanser for you. Um, this is definitely one of those, has a bit of a scent to it. I really like it. Um, I like scented things, um, not too fruity or anything, especially on my face, but I like it when it's, I get that just clean scent. The first time I put this on, I was just absolutely in love after I cleaned my face, I washed it, I dried it, and I was like, ooh, I'm just going to walk around and smell like clean. So do keep in mind that I have combination oily skin, and this definitely works for me. It makes my skin feel not too dry or not too moisturized, but it feels just right. It definitely removes makeup, and it makes my skin feel nice. I also use the Clarisonic with this in the evening. Um, I just use this alone in the daytime when I wake up. So this is definitely a great purchase. It was um, a little on the pricier side. It was $22 from Macy's and I'm in love with this and I definitely do plan on repurchasing. I was using the MAC Lightful Collection but um, I think my skin was getting too used to it, so I wanted to switch over and lo and behold, Benefit Counter was there and so I decided to try this. The second thing is this Maybelline Clean Express Waterproof Makeup Remover. And it's really extra gentle and it removes waterproof mascara. And this is true. I only wear waterproof mascara. Sometimes I'll try and use up my other mascaras, but Regardless, waterproof mascara and waterproof eyeliner, this stuff definitely does the job. I basically use one of my cotton um, pads and I soak it up a little bit and I just place it on my eye and remove my makeup. And this definitely does the job. It seriously is very comparable to the MAC makeup remover. Um, I've been using the MAC makeup remover for a very long time. I repurchased that one over and over and I'd have to say this definitely compares to it. So fraction of the price, I do plan on repurchasing this. Um, I'm waiting for a Maybelline buy one get one half off sale and I plan on repurchasing this. I do also plan on doing a, an empties video. I have a ton of products that I've been wanting to do a video on empties. Let me know, thumbs up this video if you are interested in that and comment down below. The next thing that I've been really liking is this UB Moisturizing Skin Cream. I showed this on one of my um, unboxing videos from Total Beauty Collections and this stuff is amazing. I only have a little tube of it, they sent me a sample. I have some dry skin areas right over here on my wrist and since I have been using this, this has just been very moisturized. Um, I do have to apply this daily. Um, just one time a day does the job and very small amount of this goes a long way. So basically you, pay the, you place it onto your dry spot and it, you work it in there um, until it kind of disappears and your skin stays moisturized throughout the day. I kid you not this stuff works wonders. Um, I've been using lotion to try and moisturize this dry spot but it just won't go away. It's like it's like a form of um, almost like eczema um, but it's going away and I'm so so happy because I've had this for a really long time. 
because I couldn't find anything that was working. And I was planning on going to the doctor, but I don't need to anymore because this UV stuff is amazing. UV moisturizing skin cream. It's from Japan. Um, it's where it originated from. And you can put it on dry skin or lips, so. But I think I'll just keep it on my skin because it smells like, um, has that Vaseline petroleum smell. Since we're on the face and skin items, I'm going to just share with you a mist that I had for the month, which broke me out. Um, it dried the heck out of my skin and I regret using it or hauling it. So it says Eclos by Freeman. Um, it's an apple cell skincare cleanser. And this is supposed to be a purifying foaming gel cleanser. Um, and it's formulated without parabens, sulfates, synthetic dyes, blah, blah, blah. Seriously dried my skin to where my skin was really itchy. And I wanted to try this, give it a try for at least one or two weeks. And I seriously, like, every single day I put it on, I just wanted to scratch my face off. I wasn't about to wait for it to reduce the appearance of my wrinkles and improve skin texture. I used it for less than a week and I just could not stand it. It's supposed to um, change your skin texture within two weeks, but I couldn't do it. Um, the smell of this stuff is very organic smelling. Um, it has like an apple scent to it, but not really. I just can't say enough bad things about this thing. Um, the one thing that I do really like and appreciate is the bottle. How often is a cleanser have this pump? This is genius. All cleansers should have a pump. I don't know why they don't and it's so convenient. So the next thing, as you may already know, I love felt tip liners. That's basically how I do my eyeliner daily. Um, but I have ventured into browns and it's very hard to find a good dark brown eyeliner or felt tip liner. And I've had this one for quite a while. I knew it was good, but I kind of, fell in love with it again and it's the in color fabu liner looks like this and it's in the color brown zero two this felt tip liner is amazing i'll swatch it for you um it is the most darkest colored I mean, seriously look how dark this eyeliner swatch is it almost looks black but it's not and so what helps is that when you wear it in the daytime it doesn't give you such a harsh line as would a black eyeliner so that's what's really beneficial for brown eyeliners um, so you can get these for like a few dollars two or three dollars at the drugstore but um, I do use these on days I'm going like hiking or if I'm doing something sporty I'll use this light eyeliner just to give my eye a little bit of color. I definitely pick this up, this In Color Fabu Liner. I totally recommend it. The only thing I don't like about this is that it's not waterproof and I only like wearing waterproof because my eyes, my eyeliner just um, starts to transfer onto the bottom of my eye. I don't know what it is, but it always transfers and waterproof eyeliners always work the best for me. But it works really good. Now another eye thing that I have been like, now another eye product that I've been liking is this Trish McAvoy Eye Base Essentials. I mentioned this in one of my boxed hauls from Total Beauty Collection. Um, it's in Bare. I've never tried any products from Trish McAvoy and I've discovered that they sell these at Neiman Marcus, Nordstrom, and I'd have to say this is one of my favorite eye primers. Um, I can't stop using it. I actually debate whether I should be using my Painterly Paint Pot from MAC or this one. Um, I like the texture of this. This is very creamy 
and it just it's so smooth when you apply it I'll show you guys a swatch and it's really nicely blendable onto the eye and it's the perfect color for the eye as well um, don't get me wrong, I love the MAC Painterly and I plan on repurchasing if I don't end up getting this one. But this one is number one in my book as far as a eye primer goes. And the next thing I have been really liking is this Ben Nye Banana Powder. I know this is old news, but oh my gosh, my friend bought this for me and I, I really like this. Although it is messy, it definitely does the job. Um, I use it as a setting powder. Sometimes I use it just alone. I'll put my primer on and then I'll just put this on and it seriously does the job. Um, at first I thought this would be way too light for my skin tone. As I continue using it, it's, it's perfect and it blends really well with my skin and I love this stuff. I do wish that it wasn't as messy as it is. I, what I do is I take the cap, I pour, I just kind of put a little bit in here. And then I take my brush, my flat top, and I basically take a little bit here and I dab to set my foundation or um, my primer. Now the next thing that I do regret buying is this out the door America's number one super fast drying top coat for nails. And this one is by INM. I got this one from Sally's Beauty Supply. So I did purchase this at Sally's Beauty Supply thinking that I could find something comparable to Sachet Beat or even better. And I did hear about this one and so that's why I went into the store, tried it out, and I absolutely regret it. This is probably one of the worst top coats for nails. You apply it onto your nails and you'd have to wait until like the next day in order for it to have dried. Um, this is not a super fast drying top coat, nor does it work really well. It doesn't leave your nails all that shiny, unlike Sachet Beat. Um, I just was, was trying, I was just trying to find a dupe for Sachet Beat because Sachet Beat can be really um, pricey because you have to repurchase pretty often and I do my nails quite often and um, it thickens really quickly. And I have a trick to that. If you guys are interested, comment below and let me know if you guys are interested in that trick. Uh, sure. The second to the last thing that I had to share was my Just Dance 2014 video. Um, this is for the Wii and it's fun. Um, basically, we hauled it for a birthday party. My daughter had her slumber party and the kids loved it. Um, this is so ideal for, especially for Christmas, if you guys are looking for Christmas ideas, this is it. This one features over 40 of today's hottest tracks featuring, featuring Justin Bieber, Will I Am, Lady Gaga, um, Robin Thicke featuring Pharrell, Blurred Lines, Robbie Williams, Kesha, Bob Marley, Christina Aguilera, Chris Brown, Psy. We have all of the other Just Dances and my kids love those. They constantly play it and whenever we have guests over, they're always asking to play it on the Wii. And it's the best exercise that you can get and have fun with it. Um, that's why I really like Just Dance. When my kids ask for it, I'm always like, okay, why not? Because, you know, everybody can enjoy it. And I think it's appropriate. My daughter loves to dance. My daughter does Tahitian. And my son loves to dance. So this is ideal for kids of all ages, adults, adult parties. This is it. Definitely pick yours up 2014 and I'll leave a link down below if you guys are interested in um, looking at all of the songs that are on this 
Just Dance 2014. And I'll leave a link down below in the description box if you guys are interested in purchasing this or buying or just taking a look at the songs that are available on this Just Dance game. So they have this for the Wii and they have it for the Xbox. So check it out. Yeah, let me know down below if you would like to see that video about the sachet beat and my tricks. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a hits and miss.